In Health Watch, welcome back. We are talking men's health care. Why are men so much more reluctant to go to the doctor? Dr. Greg Jones, naturopath, here to talk about the most important health tests that men should schedule annually. Well, first of all, why are men more reluctant to go to the doctor? Well, Anita, Anita, I think there's a stigma that we need to be tough or be mm -hmm. resilient, right? And so it's like we tend not to go until we're in a lot of pain or it's gotten so bad, right? And mm -hmm. so it's this, okay, we don't go unless we have to. And I think number one is getting out of that mindset. I think the second most, you know, biggest reason is there's a fear. It's that fear of knowing, right? It's mm -hmm. like, I don't want any bad news because the, the scare is like, okay, what if I found out something is wrong? And then you can't be big and tough. Right. You know, and now you're vulnerable you're, at that point. Exactly. And now you're playing catch up and now it's like, oh my God, this has gotten worse, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to get them in the mindset of preventive care and not so much corrective care. So maybe an annual appointment, social norms, right? Just making sure that once a year you have a doctor, finding a doctor who you can relate to, who you trust. Right. And that's a big one. You have to develop, develop that relationship. Mm -hmm. Because again, I always talk to my patients and they say, they say this to me like, oh my God, you listen, right? Yes. And so we've all had those doctor's appointments where we're talking to the doctor and they're maybe not paying attention or they seem hurried, right? So, and it's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I'd like to try another, or go another mm -hmm. direction or try another provider, right? So you want to have that connection so you can have those open conversations about, hey, you know, I've not been sleeping. My knee has been hurting for five years kind of thing, right? So you want to be able to have that dialogue with your provider. So let's talk about what men need to be looking out for. We all know, like, in, for example, in Arizona, uh, we have to go to the dermatologist, right, to make mm -hmm. sure we have the skin checks, right. um, stuff like that. But, but what else affects men more than it does women, for example? So I always start with energy, mm -hmm. right? If you're tired all the time, it's a, it's a big kind of warning sign right there, yes. right? And so not from a tired of, okay, you're working hard, but just tired all the time. Not because you get up in the middle of the night to go to work. Exactly, yes. right? It's just like, why? Why am I tired at one o'clock in the afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Why am I having, you know, gut issues, right? Why am I maybe not going to the bathroom or going too often? Maybe there's pain, maybe there's bloating, right? We always think about our, you know, especially brain function, right? Focus and concentration, right? If you're like, wow, my memory is starting to go a little bit if you're finding yourself with a shortness of breath, and those are more serious things, right? Sure. You know, big things like that. But what we say like energy and pain, right? It, you know, obviously as we get older, we're gonna get our, our bumps and bruises, but if your knee does not stop hurting, my back is always hurting, it could be a sign of something worse. And it's good to go discuss what's normal at age 50 versus 60 versus 70 versus 20, um, and what isn't normal. Right, exactly. The good thing about being in our 20s, you usually don't find much, right? So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like, all right, you know, but once you start getting into your 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, those aging hallmarks start to pick up, right? And these are the things we talked about, like I'm more tired, I'm not sleeping as well. Maybe you're finding a little bit of the libidos going down. You know, these things are changing as we get older and it's, it's a sign that something could be going wrong that Absolutely. we need to address. How do people get a hold of you if they wanted a little bit more information? Maybe someone they can trust. Okay. Well, we have our website at innovativewellness.com. That's with an E in, so it's spelled a little different. Okay. We, uh, we're on Instagram under Innovative Wellness. We're on Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. So we have our phone numbers at the clinic. So we're pretty available. So hopefully there's ways people can find us. I know uh, as we're wrapping up a lot of things in society changing, norms are changing. Are you seeing more men saying, okay, I don't need my wife or spouse to push me to go. I'm just making that appointment. Actually, yes. And, and that's a great thing because, you know, when I first started, it was like, wow, you know, I have a lot of female patients, right? And now it's starting to shift. What I really like is that, again, women are more likely to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. One of the, 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 I would say one of the favorite things in my practice is we may start seeing the spouse and she's like, I'm going to send my husband. I'm going right. to send my dad. And it's right. like you start seeing the whole family. And that's yeah. always awesome. Perfect. Encourage each other. Great information. We thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Be healthy. Be safe.